Hello, I hope this video finds you well. Tonight we are looking at sum 3 from arrays 1 in Java. The problem states given an array of int length 3 return the sum of all the elements. This is a really straightforward problem, um, but if you're a beginning programmer and you're uncomfortable with the structure of arrays, this is why it's here. So we want to remember that arrays, we always think about arrays and strings in terms of length and indexes. So the indexes for an array, list, or string is always 0 to the length minus 1. So in this case, you know, we state in the problem has a length of 3. So it always has the index is 0, 1, 2. And we want to add these up. So all we do in this case is we say return nums at 0 plus nums at 1 plus nums at 2. And that's it. Done. Now, here's something that might be, you know, a little bit more of a challenging question. What would happen if the array was any length? Well, in this case, um, you would have to use a loop to do that. You'd have to use a loop to go through every element. And, I'm, you know, if you're following along with me, you might know that I'm doing an array and a, str and a string problem every night together. And the reason why is to highlight how they're similar. Arrays and strings are similar in many ways. And one of those ways is this idea of using a for loop to look at every element. So what I could do here is I could make an int called sum and set it to zero. And then I'm going to write a for loop. i is less than nums.length. i is equal to i plus 1. And I'm just going to say sum is equal to sum plus nums.i. And then return the sum outside of the loop. So I hit go, and it solves the problem. But it's this fundamental structure, which is the same for a string and an array and a list. It's that loop structure that will start at the index 0 and go to the last index, which is the length minus 1. And this is kind of where you want to end up once you've worked through these and you've kind of become more familiar with them. Anyways, I'm rambling now, so I'm going to stop. Um, if you ever have any questions or want to reach out, please don't hesitate. Uh, have a wonderful day.